After a severe impact to the airline industry worldwide, there are surprisingly quite a few airlines that have survived with strength after a world pandemic. Some even still maintained their intense market competition standings in their respective markets. However, 2021 is a new year, so let's take a look at the top 10 airlines pioneering the post-pandemic world. Hit that like and subscribe button, and let's dive right in. Number 10. Air New Zealand Like airlines everywhere, Air New Zealand has been impacted by the coronavirus outbreak. They've suspended services to Shanghai and Seoul and reduced capacity elsewhere. Late last week, Air New Zealand halved its flights to Samoa. The small Pacific nation is not admitting incoming passengers unless they possess a fit-to-travel medical certificate. Although the country of New Zealand is known for their wonderful combat against COVID-19, the airline is still seeing immersive travel restrictions due to COVID-19. However, this doesn't mask the fact that Air New Zealand is an incredible airline with their amazing onboard services that are still up to passengers' expectations even during these pandemic times. Although today's limitations make it quite difficult to enjoy these services, making this airline a smaller player, Air New Zealand is still a pioneer in onboard services. Number 9. Singapore Airlines Singapore Airlines is a massive economic and transportation driver for Singapore. This airline relies heavily on its massive, globally international route network. One of the most important routes is their Singapore to Los Angeles route connecting the United States to Singapore, a resumption of flights from Singapore to Los Angeles with a stop in Tokyo. Although the flight is scheduled to resume on June 16, 2021, it's the first flight to be introduced from Singapore, a massive and wealthy country in post-pandemic times. Number 8. Emirates Airlines Emirates is growing its route network centered around open destinations. As Spain reopens, Emirates is holding its flight schedule steady but is ready to lay on more flights as needed. Furthermore, around the world more countries are welcoming tourists again as vaccines roll out. From July, the carrier will operate over 280 weekly flights from its Dubai hub to destinations worldwide. But how does this work in modern times? To sustain this model, Emirates is also turning to the Yada Travel Pass. The airline is scaling up its capabilities using the Yada Travel Pass on its flights to Barcelona, Moscow, Istanbul, New York JFK, Madrid, and London Heathrow. From July, Emirates plans to scale it up to all of its flights thanks to the mass availability of the COVID-19 vaccine. Furthermore, let's not forget the luxurious factors of Emirates as well that are still offered. Number 7. Breeze Airways Breeze Airways commenced flights for the first time this week after months of anticipation. It's truly incredible an airline would be starting up right as we surface from a pandemic pit hole. So what makes this airline so special? The airline's motto has been to offer non-stop connections between cities that have been forgotten by traditional carriers. This is combined with rock-bottom fares, giving travelers the ideal package. Using the Embraer E190, Breeze Airways is able to provide a high level of service while classifying itself as a low-cost carrier to those who are ready for something new. Number 6. JetBlue JetBlue is to launch its premium Mint service from Newark Airport. From mid-July, Mint service will be available on flights from Newark to both Los Angeles and San Francisco. As travel begins to pick up again, these new services are part of a swath of demand for individuals looking for higher class service. But what is Mint? JetBlue's revamped Mint experience will have passengers flying in style and privacy. Passengers will find the new suites aboard JetBlue's hotly anticipated transatlantic flights, complete with sliding doors, to London this summer. The new Mint suites will feature a 17-inch seatback screen, wireless charging capabilities, a phone ledge, in-seat power, and storage space for laptops, shoes, and handbags. And when it comes to napping, Passengers will have the ability to comfortably recline in their seats developed by mattress company Tuft & Needle. Passengers will also receive sleep amenities like a convertible blanket, memory foam pillow, eye mask and earplugs, and all the works. Nothing short of perfect for getting a few hours of shut-eye before waking up in a new continent. In total, there are 24 suites on an aircraft with the first two suites boasting a little extra luxury. Known as Studios, this option is complete with the biggest lie-flat bed of any U.S. carrier, a 22-inch tilting setback screen, an extra side table, and a guest seat for a fellow Mint passenger. This has seemingly triggered a spark for competitor airlines such as Delta Airline and United Airlines to suddenly begin accelerating their business and first-class game. Number 5. Hawaiian Airlines Although a niche airline, Hawaiian Airlines has presented a unique level of customer service. They are the only airline to still offer free meals on domestic routes in the United States. 
Hawaiian crowns themselves by providing passengers the essence and love of Hawaii when traveling to the remote Pacific Islands and have been able to maintain operations between Hawaii and the U.S. mainland. With the addition of new A321neos, Hawaiian has been able to operate with relatively low operating costs while standing above the rest with their high-class level of service. I mean, who wouldn't want to fly Hawaiian when going to Hawaii? Number 4. Delta Airlines Delta is offering several different COVID-tested flights to Italy this summer. However, this is not the only market Delta has leapt on. As the country opens up to vaccinated Americans starting on June 9th, Delta Airlines is laying on more flights to France with Paris and adding Nice back to its network. France becomes the sixth European destination to reopen for Americans. Delta is another airline in the U.S. that is strongly pushing to provide international travel throughout the world and have surprisingly maintained their high level of service from the start to end of the pandemic. Number 3. Wizz Air Based in Hungary, Wizz Air has been an incredible pioneer as a low cost throughout Europe. After starting operations in 2003, Wizz Air injected itself slowly into new markets throughout Europe while keeping a steady pace in their operation expansion to new destinations in many countries around Europe. Facing fierce competition throughout Europe, Wizz Air has still been able to hold its operation while introducing new routes. In early May 2021, Wizz Air announced a new base in Abu Dhabi, an international and economically important city for Asia and Europe, from where the company expects to touch various markets as soon as the UAE opens up to international travel. This base, along with the other bases and routes the airline has recently taken on, has extreme potential for increasing economics in many cities from the low fares available. Due to this, Wizz Air is a strong competitor in today's aviation market in the near post-pandemic world thus placing the airline in an important position that will likely see large benefits from its customers and shareholders. Number 2. United Airlines The most exciting story during these post-COVID times is the announcement that United Airlines has placed an order for as many as 50 supersonic boom overture airliners. This order shows 14 firm and 35 options, with the U.S. carrier hoping to introduce the type by 2029. This will be subject to operational and sustainability targets being met. Although years away from commercial service, this aircraft is a one-of-a-kind since the Concorde. This is huge for United Airlines, as they are the only airline in the United States to have orders for the next generation's supersonic jet. This will put United Airlines into a unique position that will further put them ahead of the rest of the U.S. until firm orders are placed by other competing airlines in the U.S. And here we go for the number one of this top 10, the best moment to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Number one. Southwest Airlines Southwest has long been known as the crowned child of low-cost carriers. This statement was shown true following the depths of the pandemic. Thanks to a $2 billion cash reserve, Southwest was able to hold themselves together through the pandemic with the farthest of minimal loss in cash compared to other airlines in the relative market. Furthermore, the reintroduction of the 737 MAX has allowed Southwest to take hold of the highly fuel-efficient aircraft. The 737 MAX held Southwest back quite substantially, but with the recertification and reintroduction of this aircraft, Southwest has been able to massively enjoy the benefits of this highly fuel-efficient aircraft. Compared to other airlines, Southwest has maintained the ability to provide the exact same service it did before the pandemic and continues to be the airline that many enjoy. With minimal affects to their service, this airline is truly the number one. Have you traveled on any of these airlines during the pandemic? Share your experience in the comment section down below. If you want to watch more exciting aviation top 10s, click on any of the videos you see on your screen right now. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you very soon.